okay, in the last movie, we created a situation where we can browse for a file in our Flash movie, and it registers in here, and then we can click Upload, and the image is uploaded to our server, and it's also then loaded into this movie clip, nested movie clips that are right in here. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to be able to position and scale the movie clip so it fits inside the circle for our avatar, right? And so I've put some code in here and that's going to help us to do that. So we're going to go down to the bottom of the code window here. You can see I've already pasted some code. I've got it commented out. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here to our last function. This last function is called load image, right? And we pass it the image name and then here's the movie clips and then the image is loaded using the load movie and the image name is passed into this load movie method and we get the image in the little movie clip right but now we want to move it around so I've got these other functions that I've written that I've added in pasted in here so scale down dot on press equals a function and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say avatar container dot avatar head outer so this is nested two movie clips nested dot underscore x scale minus equal five which will um, subtract five percent each time each time this button is pressed five percent will be subtracted from the x scale and then we do the same thing for the y scale so now if someone clicks on the scale down button the um, image should get smaller then I've commented this line out that's been wrapped and we'll talk about it later we're gonna use that for when we try to save our data so I've got the scale down button and then the scale up button is very similar the only difference is that it's instead of minus equal it's plus equal right and then um, to move it left and right I've got notice the difference here um, this is scale up with a capital U that's because my movie clip is named scale up with a capital U but here I did something kind of funny I said X plus and I didn't put a capital P well that's because on the stage X plus doesn't have a capital P in the name but scale up does so I, I named it that way so I just got to be careful that your names match well your instance names over here that you create for your movie clips and by the way these are not buttons these guys right here they're actually movie clips right so they can be used like buttons and so I'm using them like buttons right but they're actually movie clips talk about them as buttons whereas these guys over here they were actually um, button symbols and then these guys I made them movie clips Oh well, so you got to check your names. Um, oops, got to click back on the right frame to get my actions going. Okay, so x plus is um, same thing. X plus dot on press equals a function. Avatar container avatar head outer dot underscore x property minus equal five. That will move it to the left. Okay, plus five plus equal five will move it to the right. And then I do the same thing for the y. I create two right two more functions inside y, y plus dot on press and y minus dot on press which will move the y property the underscore y property um, up and down respectively. Now this whole thing is nested in this um, function load image right so let's let's give it a shot shall we so uh, output the movie by hitting control enter uh, test movie right outputs the movie and now I'm going to refresh my window here and try it out so I refresh the window I browse for an image right I'm just gonna grab this one right here there it is right click upload it's uploaded file uploaded and there it is in the window now these buttons should be able to move it and as you can see the buttons will scale it down notice scale up scale down and then I can move this around and place my image inside for my avatar. So that was the idea, was that you could upload your image into your Flash movie, right? It would load into a movie clip, and then you could position it and scale it. So now all we have to do is we have to save this data so that the next time we come back to our movie, it remembers what file needs to be loaded in here and what are the positioning what's the X and Y position and what's the scale of the image and um, we're gonna do that using another bit of code we're gonna do that using the shared object 
So I'm going to um, show you that right now. Cut, paste. Okay, so right here on this next line at the top of the code window, you've got var saved avatar colon shared object capital S capital O. This is the shared object uh, class. It's going to be uh, shared object dot get local, and then you pass it some name that it needs to save, so it knows what what. Uh, you can have different names here, which allow you to have multiple shared objects stored to your computer for multiple different games, let's say. So anyway, I've got this variable called saved avatar. It's a shared object. Um, it's an instance of the shared object uh, class, uh, shared object dot get local. Okay, and then, um, so we've got that shared object, which we create right off the bat. And then on the next line, what we're going to do is... I'll just uncomment this. On the next line, we say variable avatar exist, okay, capital E here, and I make this a Boolean. So colon Boolean, it's going to be a Boolean, meaning it's going to be either true or false, either a zero or a one. And then inside um, equals, and then inside parentheses, it says saved avatar dot data dot coordinates is not equal undefined. So avatar exists this boolean will be true okay if my saved avatar if there's data for this if we've already saved an avatar then this will be true right so um, if it is undefined then it'll be false right so um, that's basically what that's doing right so this logical this um, exclamation point equals stands for not so not equal to so if we have saved avatar data and that's not equal to undefined, meaning it's true that we do, we do have data, right? It's like a double negative here type of situation, then this will be true, right? So then we say, make a little if statement here, a little conditional statement that says if avatar exists, in other words, if this is true, right? Then we're going to load the image from our saved avatar data, right? Um, so we say saved avatar dot data dot coordinates element zero in an array. So obviously this coordinates thing is going to be an array. So um, we'll say we'll load the first element in the array, the second element in the array, the third element in the array, and the fourth element in the array. Right. So if we have if we have information about our avatar. We're going to load it, and um, we're going to have different. We're going to pass it four different things. When we call the load image function, we'll pass it things from an array: a first element, second, third, fourth. Else, saved avatar dot data dot core. If we don't have this, right? If this is false, that means we've never saved an avatar. So what we're going to do is we're going to say saved avatar dot data dot coordinates equals a new array, and that's how we're going to get started with our um, shared object and trying to save the data, right? If we, have, um, if we have some data, we load it. If we don't, we make an array so that we can store it.